then open Dave's awesome gifts. Excuse me, pedestrian in the crosswalk. Pedestrian in the, excuse you, pedestrian in the crosswalk. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Big Ambitions, where the city has caught up with me a little bit. I was going through my emails before I got ready for work today, and um, got a couple of parking tickets here. Yeah, so uh, parking tickets are a very real thing. Apparently, I can't park like a complete jerk in this game. I've been fined uh, 250 bucks here. Uh, sorry, uh, 375. Yeah, I've got I've got three parking tickets already. I I get it. I get it. I see what they're doing there. Um, I see what they're doing. So uh, let's go back to Dave's awesome gifts and ignore our parking tickets for right now. It's currently closed. Yes, I, it's my business. I'm pretty sure I have the keys. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get into Jocko Tech. It's a garment store. Okay, no, I want to go to Dave's Awesome Gifts. I've got the keys for this place. Here we are, Dave's Awesome Gifts. We are ready to start another day of business. Our first day went very well. We sold a single mug to somebody. One mug. This day is going to go way, way better. Even without the parking tickets, I'm up on the day. Take the, I can afford to illegally park three times, and I'm still making a technical profit here. Run the business for two days. We've done it for one, so let's go ahead and uh, assign ourselves to the cash register. Can I make this move? Oh, I can. Good, because I want to watch myself while I'm doing this. Okay, we got a punter in here. I mean, a, a delightful customer who's buying a really cheap mug. Ah, 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 ah. Watch the shoplifting there, lady. Watch the shoplifting. So I'm ringing you up. I'm doing my thing. I sold you a mug. Cool. Well, one down, uh, 198 to go. We bought 200 mugs. We've sold, sold two of them. Let's move it forward a little bit faster, but not time machine. I kind of want to get an idea of how many people are coming into this store. There's somebody. There's a couple more people. Okay, we're, we're selling some things. We're doing some stuff. The mugs are going over okay. I'm very excited about Dave's awesome gifts. All right, anyone, um, anyone else coming in? There we go. You need a mug. You need a mug. You just came in from California. You need to buy your relative something before you go home. You just bought a mug that says New York City or I Heart New York on it or something absurd like that. Hey, where are my walls? Hang on, hang on. I decorated this place, didn't I? Oh, I never applied it. Oh, hang on, hang on. I, I gotta fix that. that that's gotta change right now. Yeah, no, the, we, we gotta have this place looking sharp. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, you know what? I was gonna do all four walls, but how about we do, how about we do an accent wall, an accent wall? So, what could you show me in just uh, some nice colors here? What have you got? Um, maybe that? Is that no? That's, that's a little too dark. I know. I'm supposed to be selling mugs. I've I've kind of got my eyes peeled towards decorating here. Uh, oh yes, that's it. That's it right there. Now this time, oh my God, it's almost five thousand dollars to do that. Sure. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Uh, let's do let's do the floors. This is a terrible use of my money, but let's do the floors. Where was that really nice stone tile? There it was. Okay, so stone tile like that. Uh, that's a mere 1600 for that. No problem. Okay, let's time machine ourselves to the end of the day here. Four o'clock. Day is over. How did we... Um, can we get an idea how we broadly did in that? Okay, they liked the pricing and they liked the cleanliness... They weren't crazy about the interior, but that's because I hadn't done my walls yet. Customer service was meh. 70% customer satisfaction. Okay, what could I see in terms of, like, the money that I made here? Okay, here we go, here we go. In Econo View, we sold $400 worth of mugs. Ongoing expenses is our utilities and rent and that kind of thing. Okay, we spent one oh five on those gifts and the paper bags, we're up 252 for the day. Well, that will pay my rent at my apartment, so I've got that going on for me. Now, you're saying run the business for two days. I believe I've done that, but that's okay. I'll do it again. I should probably move my car. They probably want me to move my car. Let's have some fresh food. We're going to have to go back to the grocery store soon. We're running out of food here. And let's sleep through the night again. Uh, waking up at 3.51 in the morning, I don't think so. How about more like seven-ish. Um, all right, the, the city of New York really wants me to move my car. I think I just got another parking ticket, didn't I? Uh, city of New York. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. I, I get it. I get it. I will move the car. Well, 
All right, um, sure, absolutely. Get in my Hansa mimic. Uh, yeah, no, Uncle Fred, thank you. I did do that for two days. I've got to move the car. I'm getting a lot of parking tickets here. Okay, is that better? I've left enough of a comfortable space buffer here to the next car. Are we good now? Are we happy with my parking? All right, what does Uncle Fred want? He wants me to do the basic management course. I hope it's not too expensive because I just spent $5,000 on my walls. Start a recruitment campaign for an employee and wait for the agency to send me somebody. Okay, shouldn't I like open the store or something? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do that, Uncle Fred, but you know, we need to make some money too. So let me assign myself to the counter. Thank you very much, assign myself. And uh, let's put it in high speed mode. Let's see who comes in today. Okay, someone coming in, buying a mug. Thank you very much. Someone else coming in, buying a mug. I'm kind of hoping at the end of the day, they're going to be way more impressed with my decor. I get it. Like halfway through the day, I decided to paint the walls. It looks much better in here now. Okay, people are coming in. People are doing things. Looks like about the same amount of customers as yesterday, but that's fine. We were profitable yesterday. Actually, we did a little bit better today. 312 up on the day. How was everyone feeling about things? They're still not crazy about the interior. Can I buy decoratives in this game? Please say yes. Customer service was still meh. Actually, we dropped a little bit on customer satisfaction there. Okay. Not great, but we're still up on the day. Okay, get out of all of that. Let's go do Uncle Fred's thing. Um, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Maybe I should close the place for a day. I got a lot to do, including go to the grocery store. Let's remind myself, note to me, that I should go to the grocery store. Uh, 641, that's probably okay. I'm going to have to go get my car, and I guess I have to park it legally around here. Yeah, so after paying rent and utilities and all that, we're up 86 bucks on the day. Hey, you know what? I've had worse jobs. I've been up less on a day. Manhattan Business School is sort of right around the corner. I'm just going to pop a real quick three-point turn. Excuse me. Hi, sorry. I'm very, very busy doing business things. You should try it. Yeah, ain't got no time for red lights. Nope, going right through that one. No, no, no. Oh, there's a great parking spot right up front. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, can I parallel park in this game? Hang on, hang on. I want to see if I can actually parallel park. Okay, pull up mirror to mirror. And then like that. And... Um, it's not the worst parallel park I've ever done. I've done better, though. That is actually pretty good. I, it finished well. It finished well. Okay, park that vehicle. Um, wait, hang on. Am I outside? Of, I'm right parked right in front of a fire hydrant. I am parked literally in front of a fire hydrant. City of New York ain't gonna like that. Okay, I'm just gonna be a minute. Okay, which one did you want me to learn? Basic management. Okay, I'm gonna go in here and do that. Oh, it's only 30 bucks. Oh, but I should... I can study for more hours. I need, t okay, I need 10 hours total. Okay, the shop ain't opening today. I gotta study business stuff. Yes, I know it has no employees. People are probably just stealing stuff. Hang on, can I close the store from here? Can I just close now? Uh, where is schedule? Can we just, can we just close? No, 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 don't do that. Oh, God, no. No, 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 we ain't open that much. No, make that, make that go away. There we go, okay. Um, how do I... How do I just close the store? That's what I'd like to do. I just want to... You know what? It'll be fine. I'm sure people won't steal too many mugs. Uh, where is Anderson Recruitment? That's only 164 meters. I'm not even going to take the car. Sorry about the fire hydrant. I'll just be a minute. Oh, it's closed. It's closed. I can sleep on the bench. You're right. I can. I can totally sleep on the bench. Um, I'm going to sleep on the bench. Uh, waking up? No, 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 no. Oh, I can only sleep for four hours on a bench. I should probably go back home. I should probably go get my car. I bet I'm getting a ticket for that. What I can also do is sleep in my car. I have no food, though. That's the thing. I'm starving. Um, I should probably go home. But, okay, you know what? Let's just, as a game mechanic experiment, let's see if I can starve to death. That's probably a terrible... Oh, excuse you! Yeah, I know I was driving on the wrong side of the road. Whose fault was that? I think that's largely on you. Hang on, I've got to find a good parking spot for this. Uh, this is probably a load zone. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a loading zone. I shouldn't park there. I'm going to pull up. Oh, sorry. Sorry, a little bit of a reverse rear ending there. Um, yeah, there we go. Nice little space cushion there. You can get out. I'm going to sleep in my car uh, for quite a while. Yeah, we're down a tiny little bit because I didn't actually open my store. It's Uncle Fred's fault, frankly. Um, park the car. And then let's go over to Anderson Recruitment here. Are you guys open? Yeah, you are open. What is it you want me to do? A recruitment campaign 
for a customer service employee. Right on. Um, recruitment agent. Okay, you sound like the, the right kind of person to talk to here. I am looking for, let me see, Dave's awesome gift, a customer service person, age group, I don't broadly care. Um, show me, wow, 500 bucks just to find one person. How about we did, wow, 1,000 bucks to find two people. Is it 1,500 to find three? It is. Um, just find me one person, please. Now, where is it that my actual store is here? Uh, where, where, do, where do I live? Uh, oh, there I am. I'm up there. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I need to be on 3rd Street. Everybody in comments, remember that I live on 3rd Street, please, because I'm totally not going to remember that. Uh, we're going to need to do a little three-point turn again here. Okay, like that. Oh, oh, slow it down, slow it down. And then look at that. Like, I wasn't even here. Yep, ain't got time for red lights. Coming right through. Excuse me. Wow, the city is really going to catch up with me on that kind of nonsense. I, ho I really hope there are... Excuse you, I'm trying to make a right turn. I'm trying... Excuse... Ex you know, some people just really can't drive. Okay, I guess I gotta park like a normal person here. Hang on, hang on, let me parallel park this thing again. I know, it's a business game. I'm doing red-hot parallel parking action. Um, oh wow, that was terrible. That was one of my worst parallel parks ever. Get it closer to the curb. Uh, don't worry about hitting the other car. I'm sure that part's fine. Uh, move, yeah, there we go. Um, I am broadly within the parking lane, I think. So I'm going to park that and kind of hope for the best. All right, let's try to get some actual business going on around here instead of fussing with parking. Uh, go ahead and put it in fast forward. I want to see if anyone's going to come in. Yeah, I bet the people who came in earlier just stole stuff. They're like, oh, there's actually nobody here. This is great. I'm just going to take this mug that says I heart New York and walk right out the door and give it to my grandmother. And she'll probably be in tears because she thought I spent a lot of time getting this gift and choosing it just for her. And I really just bought it on the way to the airport. Okay, day's over. Day's over. Let's go next door. Go back home eat. Um, apparently I can't starve to death. I mean, maybe I can. I don't know. I've really got to go to the grocery store. Okay, everyone in comments, remember that I live on 3rd Street, and remember I've really got to put some food in the fridge. Uh, waking up at 4, no, how about we wake up at like, actually, oh, the grocery store doesn't open until 8. I should, okay, start sleeping. I'm going to reset the schedule. I need a day off. That's, that would be my primary thing. I need a day off so I can do, you know, things like grocery shopping. I mean, real world Dave does that. Real world Dave has a job. And then real world Dave, on his days off, goes and does the things that he can't do while he's at his job. Like, you know, grocery shopping. Actually, primarily Mrs. Dave handles the grocery shopping. But I do the laundry and clean the bathroom and that kind of thing. So that's pretty important. I should also, you know what, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to eat now. Uh, before I die. That grocery store is right down the street. I think I've got... Well, I don't have enough time, but I'm going to go down and get some groceries and then throw them in the fridge and then then open Dave's awesome gifts. Excuse me, pedestrian in the crosswalk. Pedestrian in the... Excuse you, pedestrian in the crosswalk. Okay, get lots and lots of fresh food. Uh, and yeah, sure, that much. That much and go pay for this. Yeah, I know, I used to work here. I don't work here anymore. I've got my own business now. That's right. I actually made more money working here, but you know what? I've got my own business. I'm a go-getting, entrepreneurial, businessy kind of guy. I gotta go sell some mugs to some punters. Hang on. Okay, I like that. Vonton Dare Bank. <laughs> Uncomplicated, private, not taking advantage. Vonton Dare. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh, mugs. Mugs for sale. Actually, I'm gonna put my food in the fridge first. I know we're technically open. We've been open for like an hour, but I'm just gonna go throw my food in the fridge. Oh, oh, good thing too. There's already a customer here. All right, yes, I am ready, ready to help you. Sorry, I'm an hour and a quarter late. I, yeah, there you go. I'm here. I'm here. You can come in and purchase your mug, and you can come in and purchase a mug. I like when stores plays plays music. Ah, uh, yeah, technically we do, but I've got it on mute because I think they're all heavily, heavily copyrighted. So um, you're not hearing any of it. All right, we got a new message from Anderson Recruitment. Thank God it's not another parking ticket. Uh, right, what do you want? One candidate for Dave's awesome gift with good customer service. Yep. Okay. So, Rosie, you're 59. Customer service, 45%. Cleaning at 15%. Full-time high, no morning shifts. Um, yeah, I mean, you, this is on your application, Rosie, and you're already telling me what you can't do. Probably don't lead with that. Come in and tell me what you can do, Rosie. Come in and tell me what you can do. No morning shifts low. What does that mean exactly? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to broadly hire you. 
How much am I paying you? My employees. Okay, there we go. Employee, Rosie Lee, 24 hours, $24 an hour. Okay, no task. Well, you're going to be... Oh, I can train you. Oh, there's so many things here. Wants and demands. You want full time. Okay, hang on. Between 30 and 50 hours a week. Can do. No morning shifts. Between 6 a.m. and 10. I can... Okay, Rosie, you're not exactly thrilling me, but I can... We can come to a compromise on that. We can make that work. Oh, wait a minute. Rosie. Rosie. Uniforms. Rosie. Rosie, we get uniforms in the game. Oh, Rosie. Um, okay, that's a little McDonald's. How about... Does that say ugly, cheap mugs? It kind of does, actually. This is very, very 50s diner. How about something a little more elegant, a little more smart? Like that. And then, can I mess with the colors? I can. Oh, I like this. I'm going to be here for a while. Go back to the t-shirt, but make this a different color. What can you show me in hats? Not much. Baseball cap? Yeah. Everybody likes a baseball cap. How about your shoes? Not a lot of options. I'm not going to wait. make you wear heels Be standing behind the counter. You can keep your sneakers on. And yeah, I think all of this... Oh, wait, there's aprons. Oh, there's aprons. Hang on. There's aprons. Yep, there we go. You're getting an apron. Now, assuming that I'm going to have multiple different businesses, I'm going to have to cater these uniforms. So this is going to be called giftware. That's for my gift shops where we sell terrible, terrible gifts. So save that. Okay, good. We've done that. Now, back out of here... You need to wear gift wear, okay? And that's your business. Manage your schedule. I will, I will, as soon as I manage my own schedule. So, schedule, there we go. So let's move this around. You don't want to work in the morning, that's fine. How about 10, how about 11 to 7, okay? Don't come whining to me if you don't get to have dinner with your family, Rosie. This is what I want to tell you right now. Don't come whining to me. Uh, hours per week, 50%. Do what now? No, this should be... You should get your hours out of here. You have a full-time high demand and no morning shifts. Well, I should be satisfying you. Back to my employees. Back to Rosie. There's so many things to click here. Uh, you are going to be on... Uh, let me see if I've got everything set here. All right, everything set. I could train you, but I don't know... Is that Does that take you off duty? I don't know. Yeah, manage your schedule. Yes, that. All of that, please. Oh, hang on. I gotta, I gotta like pull you down here. Is that, is that, is that how that works? What am I doing with Rosie? I'm moving her. There we go. Okay. Now, Rosie, there you go. And then fill in all of that. 56 hours a week. Hey, you asked for full time, Rosie. I'm giving you full time. Let's not be open on, you know what? A lot of retail places close on Mondays because it's kind of a garbage day. So we're going to close on Monday, 48 hours a week for Rosie. Saturday and Sunday are our peak days. We can't close retail on Saturday and Sunday. All right, Rosie, and this has auto-filled, right? Rosie's in every day. Okay, now we're kind of getting somewhere. While I'm here, I want to look at inventory and pricing. I got plenty of inventory, sort of, vaguely. Uh, actually, I don't. I should really go buy some more of those. I've only got 85 mugs left. How much are we charging? Market price... 20 retail price 20 yeah i gotta go get some more mugs soon actually and probably some more paper bags yeah basically now that rosie's here i gotta run around and do the the business side of business what if this was say 25 dollars for a mug 25 dollars for a mug and then what's they love the pricing they're wicked into the pricing so an extra five bucks that's not that bad i can't charge for the paper bags that's unfortunate. I'd very much like to. Okay, one more time. So inventory and pricing. Wait, no, I want to charge. Oh, no, there we go. 25. Yep. Retail price, 25. Schedule is rosy, but we're closed on Mondays now. Deliveries, I can't do anything with yet. I bet Uncle Fred is going to pop up and have something to say about that. And good news, too. We are the only business doing cheap gifts, and the demand is going up. Okay, demand is going up for that. What else is open? A jewelry store? A liquor store? Oh, wait a minute. Hype is doing cheap gifts. Oh, we have a new competitor. Or is that me? That might be me. I'm Well, if we're hyped about it, then I'm hyped about it. Everybody's hyped about it. Okay, after all of that nonsense, uh, Uncle Fred is up telling me to hire a cleaner. Get a mop from the cleaning station and clean my floors. 
Okay, I mean, we can certainly look at that. I've got things to be doing here. Um, talk to me. Yes, I, I am assigned. Wait, is that Rosie? Hang on, is that Rosie? Can I... Oh, Rosie and I are both here. Rosie, this is a little awkward. I know I'm training you, but, you know, a little personal space might not be the worst idea. Okay, so I'm just free to go. I can just bum around here and Rosie's taking care of everything. Wow, the floors are a little dirty, aren't they? Yeah, you can see that from here. I should put some curtains up. It'll hide the dirt. What awful customer service. Rosie? Rosie? Do we have to have a talk already? Don't make me write you up on day one. All right, Square Appliances, which is the same place I bought everything else for the store. Excuse you! is right down the street, so I'm not even going to take the car. I'm not going to waste the gas. Wait, do I have gas in this game? I wonder if I have gas in this game. I've got parking tickets. Why wouldn't I have gas? Uh, pedestrian in the crosswalk! Pedestrian in the crosswalk! Okay, so grab a hand truck, and what is it I need? A cleaning station. Storage, rounded shelves. Uh, do the alt thing. Wow, okay, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Cleaning station, I see it over there. Get me one of them, please. Are they going to ask for these hand trucks back? Because this is the second one I've taken out of that store. I, I don't know, is there like a deposit on these things that I've paid? Because I'm just walking off with these. You can never have too many hand trucks, that's what I say. They're always, well, you know, handy. Uh, we're right down here somewhere, aren't we? Isn't this? Yeah, there I am. There's my awesome gift shop. Okay, uh, Rosie, I'm back. How'd things go? I see there's nobody in here. Yeah, okay. So where do we want to put this? Could this live over here, like sort of out of sight a little bit? All right, that can live over there. I don't know. I'm just going to leave the hand truck there because I'm not really sure what I do with that. Okay, so back here is 73% clean. I'll definitely look at um, Uncle Uncle Fred's thing here. But I've taken, I'm taking time to clean the back room. And then I'm going to clean the other, the front store. Okay, a little bit of mop, a little bit of mop, a little bit of mop over there. This looks pretty dirty. Uh, we're up to 96%. I'm going to call that good enough. Oh, I see a, a big patch of dirt over here. Um, hey, what's up, dude? Insure $8,000 in my bank account. <laughs> Buy a drinks fridge, box of soda, and put that in the store? Okay, I see where you're going with that. Yeah, yeah, you're doing sort of like a general gift store kind of thing. You come in, you buy a mug that says, I heart New York. You're hot, you're tired. Like, hey, I'm going to get a soda while I'm here. I totally get that now. I see where you're going with that. Um, I'm just going to finish cleaning the floor because floor. And I'm going to start stacking up the hand carts over here, just in case anyone ever asks for them. At least I know where they are. Uh, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock at night. I'm kind of hungry and tired. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, what day is it? It's Thursday. Okay, so Rosie will be here to open the place tomorrow. I assume she's key holder at this point. Uh, square appliances, no. Let's just go home. Hey, that's not bad. 355 up on the day? Well, that's certainly... Wait, is that going to... Does that account... Hang on, hang on, game. Hang on, hang on, throw it in pause mode. Does that account for Rosie's wages? Is that factored into that? I can only assume that it probably is. All right, so here's all my transactions. There's my loan payment, my rent. There's Rosie right there. 48 bucks for Rosie, probably because she started at the end of the day. So how did we do? Parking fees zero. Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day. Parking fee, fee zero. I actually parked like a person. So I've got my residence, my loan. Okay, businesses, 469. I can only assume that that 469 accounts for Rosie. I mean, it's right up in here. She's right here. So ticket for illegal parking, right, right, right there. I didn't know parking tickets were a thing in this game. Now, the place isn't actually open yet. 365 tobacco. What do you sell? This place isn't open, but this place is. I mean, I assume you sell tobacco products of some sort. Cigars, 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 bottle of wine. Okay, you got a little smoke shop going on here. Not bad. Seems you got yourself going pretty well. Well, you got two registers. And wow, there are a lot of people in here, too. You guys are doing good. I'm just trying to get, like, a can of soda sold to somebody. You guys are doing great. All right, a drinks fridge. A drinks fridge. I see, uh, there it is. I see it. Uh, yeah, one of those. I want a drinks fridge. Yeah, give me that. I don't really think I actually even need the hand truck. I think I can just haul this. Oh, I can't. Okay, I need another one of your guys' hand trucks. Sorry, if you if you need them back, they're in my back room. 
I don't know if you ever asked for these back, but I'm just taking all of them. Excuse you, pedestrian in the crosswalk with a hand truck, I might add. Okay, where is this gonna live? And what are the interaction points with it? Okay, so it's like that. Well, let's put this, say, I don't know, up in the corner like this. Yeah, put it right there. Okay. I'm not paying that much for cheap gift. Ah, they're starting to complain about the prices. Okay, I can fix that. I can fix that right now. Um, inventory and pricing. Back it down a little bit. How about $23? All right, let's see if you're a little better at $23. As always in any tycoon game, I'd rather have lots of people giving us a little bit of money than nobody giving us a lot of money. I know you need things. Rosie, you just kind of hang tight, kid. You're doing great. I know it's only your second day. Good luck with things. Remind me where the wholesale store is. Uh, get off of retail. Go to... Like, wholesale, wholesale. Where, there we go. Wholesale store. Uh, where does that live? It's pretty far away, as I remember. Where, Where is wholesale? There's one over there. Metro Wholesale. Okay. Do I really want to take the car for that? Not really. You know what? I'm going to, because I'll pick up some more gifts while I'm there. Oh, wow. You really parked right, right on my nose there, didn't you, Chief? Right on my nose. Couldn't give me a little space cushion, huh? Nope, ain't got time for red lights. Excuse me. Whoops, on the sidewalk. The city is gonna hate that one. Um, okay, I'm a teensy bit stuck. There you go. Ignore this. Uh, we're filming a movie. It's New York. We do that sort of thing. Okay, back it up, back it up, back, back it up, back it up. There we go. Okay, perfectly acceptable parking job there. Look at that parking job. I bet that sign says no parking. Does that sign say no parking? No, that sign says nothing at all. Fantastic, then I can park here. Okay, I need lots of stuff, guys. So, what have you got? Uh, paper bags. Yep, I need those. All right, get me one of those, please. Uh, you know what? Get me, get me another one of those. There we go, two of those. And cheap gift. Yep, take some more of those. Give me two of those. Uh, no, give me even more of those. My hands are full. Oh. Okay. I thought I could put more on the hand cart. That's fine. My car is sort of right outside. Yes, place that order, please. I'll just shuffle this all back and forth. Oh, I have yet another hand truck in in my in my trunk. Wow, I really am accumulating. Yes, permanently destroyed. I've got three more of them. Um, so how do I... I put the gifts in there. Okay, great, good. Now I need to go... No, no, I haven't put the gifts in there at all. I haven't done that at all. Put that in there. There we go. Okay, now go back over here. I need... Well, I need to get my hand truck for a start, because that's got stuff on it. And where are we finding soda cans these days? Cans of, of cheap soda. Soda, soda, going once, going twice. There we are. 1998. Okay. All right, back it in. Oh, a little, little aggressive there on the on the parallel park. Hang on, I can't I can't see what I'm doing. Good. I, I can't see where I'm... No, I literally can't see where I'm parking. There's a tree. There's a tree. All right, I'll park somewhere else where there isn't a tree. Uh, you go in here. I'm not... Can I squeeze in here? Sort of. Ah, oh, that's a terrible thing. No, why, why did we do that? Uh, do this instead, and then come back here. This is all about parking right now. It, I'm just going to master the parking and nothing else. Park the vehicle. Okay, thank you. Now, I need... No, 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 don't get back in the car. I wanted to manage storage. Yeah, I got all sorts of stuff to get out here. Yep. All right, so put the paper bags in there. Thank you. Uh, no, put the paper bags in there. A uh, cash register already full. Okay, I'll put them in the back room. That's fine. Just uh, place them right down here. I'll have extras for later. No problem. So put those there. And Rosie, how are we doing today? Oh, I need more cheap gifts. That's for sure. That that says you don't got enough stuff. Uh, come on, outside, outside. Back to the car. All right, restock that. There we go. Okay, that's nice and restocked. And let's put the extras back here. Just put those down. Come on, put those down. Uh, right here is fine. Right in front of my many many hand trucks. Yeah, now people are back into it. I gotta figure out. I hope Uncle Fred is gonna tell us about deliveries sooner rather than later, because going back and forth is sucking up my whole day here. Uh, soda cans. Yes, please. All right, now featuring ice cold. Well, not ice cold, because I, I literally am putting it in the cooler right now, but there we go. Soda is done. Now what? Oh, we're closed. Well, Uncle Fred wants us to check out what's in demand, and it is burgers and cheap gifts. We are... Getting up there with a bullet right now. Cheap gifts. Everybody loves a cheap gift, even if they're not quite as cheap. I did that. 
I did, I, I did. Sort the list by demand. Okay, I will. There we go. Burger and cheap gift, number one. Just like I said, Uncle Fred. Just like, I know what I'm doing. Un I don't know what I'm doing, Uncle Fred. Okay, we're jumping from cheap gifts into fast food. I have no food safety training in this game. I do in the real world. I have no food safety training here. I can't just open up a restaurant all willy-nilly like that. But apparently that's what we're up to next. And that's probably an excellent place to call it on big ambitions for today. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth. All right? None of this manby-pamby kumbaya nonsense. All right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So once again, the fish are on fire and uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there. <laughs>